today I'm doing a video on my 2018 Ram 1500. I've got a few changes to make today. I've already made a, quite a few changes on this truck already and I get a lot of my ideas by going on YouTube and watching other Ram owners and the uh, changes they made to their trucks and I figured hey maybe a video of the changes I made to mine, the upgrades, would um, somebody might find useful to see uh, if they want to make those same changes to their truck. Just kind of get ideas of different things done in these Rams. Uh, there's a ton of ton of upgrades out there for these Rams, especially these models. So I figure, hey, I'm going to do a video and show you guys what I've already done and what I'm going to do today. And uh, let's get started on it. All right, I'm just going to start at the front of the truck here. All right, so we got a barricade bull bar there with a 20 inch LED light bar. We've got Morimoto XB headlights with the Morimoto fog lights. Truck is dirty because it's super dusty around here. Got a barricade hood deflector, heavy duty hood deflector. And let's see what else, anything else in the front? Nope, nothing else in the front. All right. Well, I've got Moto Metal rims and Falcon Wild Peak AT3W tires. Actually, really like this, this wheel setup. The truck is leveled. I debatched the Ram 1500, I felt like that logo was huge and I just didn't like it. Um, got a little bullet antenna there. They're not big upgrades, just small changes and stuff like that. I did swap out the side steps from the factory ones. This truck is a Canadian truck and it came with really uh, ugly side steps and a really rusted undercarriage. A lot of the bolts and everything, they must put a lot of salt on the roads because a lot of that stuff is just all, all rusted up or surface rust at least. One at the back. Ah, don't think I changed nothing on the back. Yet. The tail light's gotta go though. That's not gonna be done today, but they gotta go. Maybe that third brake light too. Especially since I swapped the headlights. Got all my new upgrades in the truck bed right here, so let's check it out. Boom. That's right. That grill is getting replaced today. That grill is getting replaced today. I can't stand that. Uh, and I'll link all this stuff in the description. Anything that I can remember to link, I'll link there. So let's get a little better look at this grill. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good on the truck. I'm actually thinking about painting or well, color matching the uh, Ram logo, and then this area right here to the color of my truck when I put it on take this around front it's one thing that when I first got the truck and I'll show pictures of the truck when it was factory um, that's how I bought it so you can see the differences but uh, I just I've never been a fan of that front grill I actually don't like that grill on any any Dodge product I never have you know the chargers uh, they had those Chrysler um, no, those Dodge Magnums is Magnums. I never liked this style of grill on any of that, so I had to had to go. But it wasn't my first change, so let's see if that sits right there. we we'll scratch. So yeah, let's see. That's gonna look good on it. That's gonna look good. So yeah, if I color match that blue, because with the Outdoorsman, because this is a Ram Outdoorsman, uh, they have that two-tone like, black bottom section of uh, around the whole truck. And so if I color match, I'm thinking that Ram logo might look good, color match to the truck, but the rest black. All right, so let's walk back around. Hold on, let me get another view of this truck. I love the way this truck sits. <laughs> Wait till y'all see the, how it looked in the beginning, how it looks now, man. It's night and day, night and day. All right, so let's look at some of the other changes. Oh, I also got this, uh, this, uh, what you call it? Bed extender. Amp research. Amp research bed extender. There's that. I just don't like the look of long bed trucks. So I wanted the short five uh, five seven bed, but I need the bed extender because I'll be hauling shit. So it's actually really good. It's pretty sturdy and it locks in. 
These lock in right to the tailgate. Let me see if I can get that in there. So it's locked in like that, so it can't move. In order to release it, if I just lift my tailgate handle under here, it pops that right out. So yeah, really handy. And also, it's kind of kind of lifts up like that and over. Yeah, so you have this like cubby area in your truck bed. So when you close it like that, everything is all nice and neat and doesn't move around too much back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. All right, the biggest change today is gonna be this SMB air intake, SMB filter. So I mean, just pop the box open and take nothing, nothing out of there. So we'll end up popping that out of there. And I've got today. Uh, this is part of the part of the grill. Um, swapping out the freaking license plate frame because I got some stupid uh, Ron Tonkin deal frame on there still. Tailgate assist, DZ tailgate assist. And if they're one of those on there, something cheap and I feel should come from the factory with a tailgate assist instead of just always having to drop your or be careful not to drop your tailgate. So that's important. Uh, this is part of the grill and i'll get to this later right here this is the obd link mx plus i've been trying to figure out let me see if this thing focuses at all anyways this is supposed to be a pain in the ass focusing so quick explanation on the need and use of that oh look that fell over oops um these morimoto headlights pain in the ass on this truck they look really good back up and get another view of that they look good on the truck but I constantly get this headlight out air high beam out and these things will start flickering on the road uh, going from that halogen to these LED lights I read that there was gonna be potential issues I wanted to try it anyway because everybody said everybody's truck is different so let's see if my truck was gonna have the issues it sure did yeah, for their 1500 I think I paid for the combination of the fog lights and the headlights and uh, it's a lot of money for these lights to be going nuts and like sometimes one headlight will be on and one will be off and the high beams won't work at all it's just a pain in the ass but they say this obd link and alpha obd app will allow me to go into the settings of the truck and fix it so we'll get all that done so today um doing the filter the grill and these couple little pieces here uh tail lights for sure are getting swapped out if i can use that obd link to fix the issues with the morimoto headlights then um, i will go ahead and get the morimoto tail lights but i will not do that until i can figure out if this issue is solvable because i don't want my tail lights flickering the same way my headlights flicker i've seen that on the videos people's tail lights and morimoto tail lights uh, they look really good but then they start flickering and doing weird stuff so i don't want none of that um i definitely need a bed liner i'm not sure why the previous owner because I did buy this used I'm not sure why they did not um, get a bed liner put on this truck from the factory or add one in because it scratched like hell back there uh, so yeah that's gonna be another upgrade not happening today that's gonna cost some money but the bed liner the uh, tail lights are getting swapped the third brake lights are getting swapped um, uh, I'm probably gonna have to swap the bumper let me see push the stuff back in here real quick So when I do my exhaust upgrade, get rid of that little that little baby exhaust down there, the exhaust pipe. Uh, I'm probably gonna go dual exhaust and come out the rear. And uh, you know, I don't like when dual exhaust sits under a rear bumper, so I'm gonna need those cutouts. So I'm probably gonna upgrade. I've been looking at the cross country or real country, real country uh, bumper kind of heavy duty and I think that'll look good on this truck so that's another upgrade so yeah bed liner bumper exhaust tail lights and I think I should be good I've also added a pedal commander which I'll show that in a in a bit so I added the pedal commander and to change the responsiveness of this truck and it's you know massive upgrade it's huge night and day difference the responsiveness of this truck with that pedal commander on there so yeah a little bit ways in I'm not getting this truck, but it's definitely, definitely back up and get a better shot. It's definitely been worth it. And the goats, 
the ghosts want to know why I'm not paying attention to them. So you guys can say what's up to the ghosts. You guys are making no noise now. What's going on? So they're dwarf goats. So they're really small and they don't get that big, but they'll get bigger than this. Just not that big. So yeah, they watch, watching me work on the truck today. So right, let's get started on this. Uh, popping this grill off and make sure I got the right tools and all that for it. short because I'm kind of on an incline. See if I can get a better angle. I'll probably do it from the front. And so you can see a better angle of the truck. All right, so I'm swapping the brackets for this grill. That's the new one, that's the old one. Obviously there are some differences. We got these vents, this, uh, pretty sure they just direct air. And then uh, it came with these brackets here. Yeah. I feel like they just, they screw on, they screw on like that. What I'm gonna do actually is unscrew the bracket from the old one here and unscrew all these. I just unscrewed them and see if I can get these vents off and find a way to make these vents fit to here. Might not fit, I don't know. This is uh, my first time dealing with this. So I'm gonna see if I can get, instead of using the parts that came on Amazon, I'm gonna get this whole factory bracket here and match it up over here and then uh, get those vents off and see if I can swap those. All right, so I got those vents off and the kit actually came with, from off Amazon, uh, these things, so those break a lot of times you pull the grill off and they go uh, on here. So I got that whole bracket off and they go there yeah. sit up there so yeah that's those I'm glad they added those and I'm glad they added these where they are they glad they added these uh, those little clips there it's about 10 of them and they hold the new one down because the new the new grill doesn't have these little lips on them that holds these pieces into place so I got those clips around the whole two vents so that's gonna fit on there perfect so now I'm gonna add this bracket back on and there's the old grill I get her on all right so I was able to successfully swap that bracket and not need the pieces over there those pieces that came from Amazon swap the factory bracket and the factory vents so there's the old one and everything is on here, so I'm gonna lift these up. Uh, lift this one up. All right, so there they are. All right, so now I'm able to put the new grill on. There she is. Woo, let's get up close shot.
Let's close the hood. Make sure everything. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Much better to me than that old grill. Get a shot from the side, kind of. So it's like a matte, it's a matte black. Uh, it's a paintable, paintable grill. So like I said, I'm gonna, I'm not sure, but I might color match that Ram logo. Maybe just the Ram logo or maybe this thing too. I don't know, I might leave it all black. Oh yeah. All right. Job well done, easy switch. I'll come around to the back. All right, time to do something easy. Come around to the back of the truck, swap this for the love of cars, Tonkin. Frame cover off. I don't like that. Figure I'll do something easy real quick because that intake's gonna be a little bit more work. Installation instructions. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know, are they? I guess some people actually probably do need installation instructions. I might look at them, I might not. A little clip right over it. Oh, we got that ugly. Got that ugly tonking out the way. Now we got some RAM. It's dusty back there, don't worry, but that looks much better. And yeah, I'm in Oregon. Looks much better with the RAM. So we can get a back shot. <laughs> back shot. 